Hello, today we're trying out what's in this bag. What's in it? I don't know, but we'll find out. <laughs> Sorry. Bless you. Someone is laughing loud outside the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, folks. Something in my throat. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, that's... <laughs> Okay, I need to I need to show this. Uh, this is like a unique style of can. No. Like, it comes out like the whole piece. Yeah. Top of the can, mm -hmm. and then this beer has a huge hole. Yes. Just for pouring the. <laughs> let me show here. It's it's amazing. I yeah, know. yeah. <laughs> it is crazy. Yeah. No, um, I I've really enjoyed you know these wide mouth or extra wide mouth. That's um, the first time that I've like been looking at this. Really? It's like okay. yeah, yeah. Nice, golden, light golden. I'm thinking it's either a wheat that's beer a, or that's a, a pilsner. That's a good surprise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, look at this. <laughs> no, I've I've really enjoyed how, you know, these. This is <laughs> this is the what you know, the future yeah. looks like. Yeah, right? a fancy <laughs> a fancy can. It looks yeah. like. <laughs> you good? All right. <laughs> All right. Let's let's finish it out. Okay. Our uh, assistant producer doesn't want more yeah. <laughs> Yes. Oh. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, really weedy. Yeah, Weety. weedy. <clears throat> we, well, wheat. Wheaty, uh, yeah. Yeasty. Mm -hmm. Extremely like, yeasty. Yeah. yeah. This is the kind of beer I like. It's lately. sweet. It's like semi sweet also. Um, like a yeah getting a lot of sweetness in that yeah no also like some like um uh reminds me with the corn like uh when they're making the the corn for mm -hmm. um the dough for making tortillas like right. they're mixing this uh with water kind mm -hmm. of like that yeah, yeah it's some like raw Rock like yeah, wheat. All right. Well. Okay. Well, it's it's also hasty. All right. Yeah, hasty. To the haze. To the haze. Huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. I will say this is a half of half of half of half bison. Of bison. Half of bison, totally. But I mean, I can be wrong. It's a, uh, it it tastes sort of a little bit uh, yolky and eggy, um, for some reason. Hmm. For me, there is some sourness, some tart flavor at the beginning. Um, then the wheat, then the yeast. Um, there's some fresh. Uh, I'll wash after that. Yeah. <clears throat> like I'm, I'm getting uh, like this weird dark um, taste, like sort of yolky, eggy, and then a weird like uh, sort of uh, balmy taste. I don't know. It's weird. It's, it's, yeah. uh, I don't know. Something it's, from childhood. <laughs> it's, I don't know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, if it's a half a bison, then uh, it's lacking of a lot of head. I mean, yeah. it's like after a little bit, it just uh, dissipates. Yeah. Um, I know which brewery this is coming from. Um, it's it's coming from uh, Urban Chestnut, but I don't know which one it is. Uh. Okay, let's see. Yep, Weiss beer. Weiss. It's a Bavarian style Weiss beer ale. So. Uh, let's see the unmistakable unmistakable characteristic of this Bavarian style Weiss beer are achieved with a yeast that creates a decidedly fruity and felonic beer. I don't know what that means. Um, you may also note clove and banana like aromas and flavors as you pour and enjoy the beer in traditional in a traditional tall wheat beer glass. Prost. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, <clears throat> they were smart, you know, calling it half of ice. Yeah. 
It needs more uh, carbonation for me, but uh, I like it. Um, I will say that from the different um, wheat beers I haven't tried, um, it is a little bit uh, more to the um, light and tart side, more like a summer beer, mm -hmm. like um, that. Uh, I'd like say more brown solid. I don't know, like some some of the like the wheat beers and half of ice and I haven't tried. They're more like you can taste even like uh, almost like flour flavor, mm -hmm. like really cream, really like um, this is more liquid. Yeah. Um, and sour. Yeah. I think the the it's it's just a little too yeasty for me. You know, like mm. I can totally um, taste uh, the clove. Aroma like um, yeah after a couple sips yeah um, it doesn't go down easy it's like <clears throat> it really kind of puckers um, your, your tongue like in the back uh, I think like um, that's part of the carbonation I mean like yeah. carbonation is maybe too um, crispy uh, mm -hmm. yeah yeah like too spicy uh, even if it doesn't have foam it's just not a really good carbonation mm -hmm. in general yeah. Um, I mean, um, I won't say that it's the best, um, but it's not that bad for me. Yeah, yeah. But, <clears throat> uh, oh man. So, um, have you have you seen? Um, oh, actually, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna talk about. We we're talking about movies. Yeah, we were talking about movies. So, uh, I recently saw. Um, mother or mother or mother, mother exclamation point. Uh, okay, I think I hear about it, but I haven't. I haven't. Okay. Seen it. So it's it's directed by uh, Darren Aronofsky. He did. Uh, he did Pi. I think he did The Fountain. Mm -hmm. He did. Um, oh, it, they're all like super depressing movies. Smother with Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, okay. Javier Bardem, Ed Harris, Michelle Pfeiffer, um, and everybody else. Just mm -hmm. you know, I don't. I don't know who they are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actors without names. I don't Actors know. Actors. Yeah. But um, have you seen like his other films, like like Pi or? Uh... I have to listen, sir. I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. That's out of my. Mm. My lore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you? Well, what about Black Swan? Did you see Black Swan? Yeah, I saw, okay. uh, yeah, I saw that one, mm -hmm. and I think it was intense. I think that it was good and brilliant in certain moments, uh -huh. but also at the same time, I think it was overrated in, yeah. in general, right? Yeah. I mean, it is like, um, uh, there are some moments out there where you can feel like this anxiety, like of mm -hmm. the... You know, like the feathers coming out of your yeah. skin, and yeah, but uh, like I remember, it, I like it was really uh, it was a good movie. It was also like I mean, it was um, the name of this actress. I remember, and Natalie Portman, right? Yeah, Natalie yeah, Portman. Yeah. Uh, how about forgetting? I don't know why. But uh, she's a, she's amazing. I mean, she yeah. she she did a really good uh, job over there. But I think like the movie in general goes like. Um, like the critics in general, like they were a little bit overrated. Mm -hmm. Like it was a good movie, but it wasn't such a good movie. Right? Yeah, I don't remember who won that year. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> so that's one of his. Uh... Yeah, that's one of his. Okay. Um, oh, what is that other one that he did? It was about. I mean, it was a tragedy. Like yeah, it's <laughs> you know his films are either right. depression or tragedy or you know yeah. like feeling uncomfortable in your own skin in a lot of ways um God, i can't think of that movie now like anyway it, it was it was about uh this the a couple of friends that you know make it big in in selling drugs and then like their their ascent and and eventual and decline wrong. and like hard deep decline where it's just bad all around for every character nobody has 
you know, like turned down. Yeah, nobody is, <laughs> is everybody has a bleak future basically. Um, but but pie though, man, it uh, did you see it or no? No, no, no. no okay. No, no. Well, that that one, I mean, Hill Fours is his best, uh, in my opinion. Pie. Um, it's about this this guy <clears throat> that um, has a really um, good uh, mind for math, but it, it it starts out with like, okay, so when I was like six years old or something like that, my mom told me not to stare into the sun, so I did, and um, he says like, yeah. It, he goes blind for a bit and after he gains regains his sight that's when the headache started and you know like the movie is about him like just being this math whiz but he gets this really crippling headaches that um sort of put him down and... yeah like like dictates how he's going to live basically cuz you can't do anything mm. like functional as far as relationships with other people and like, you know, holding down a job. Like he's doing a lot of freelance stuff. He's sort of like trying to figure out a way to uh, to um, predict the the stock market and mm-hmm. you know like his knowledge. Um, and then becomes a headache and becomes kind of yeah, like, like a genius that has a yeah. mark on him. Mm-hmm. Like but, curse, curse genius. Yeah. Um, no, I haven't. I haven't seen it. Um, there is a lot of movie that I'm still like mm-hmm. need to watch. Kind of like, and it's funny. Like you mentioned, like this tragedy uh, theme. I was thinking about. Um, I was thinking about this uh, a little bit before coming here, uh, since I remembering. Um, I, I remember that also. Yeah, you make your um, the poems um, uh, videos right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's one of the things that I would like to uh, participate in, in, yeah. in your channel, and I haven't had the chance to memorize yeah. one, yeah. right? But I was thinking about like James, Jaime Sabines. Yeah. You hear, uh, you hear about him, like this Mexican, uh, actually, like specifically from Chiapas, is mm-hmm. a state in Mexico, where he is such a. Um, uh, I mean, like he, like people, they really um, uh, honor his memory, right? Mm-hmm. It was such a great. Um, Poet, and, and, and you can you can feel like in every in every single part of there there is like his mark mm-hmm. uh, that he left about like tragedy. I remember this poem, um, La Coquita Embarazada. It's mm-hmm. like the the cripple that got pregnant. Mm-hmm. I don't know if there's a translation in English. I like how such a tra- tragedy and, and the like the like the not like the worst but like immediate tragedy, really real and mm-hmm. touchable tra- tragedy in this poem. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but also at the same time there's like the, the other side of like even like there is like uh, the tragedy in the human life itself mm-hmm. just for, for, for living for being human there is also like this this part of, of hope uh, yeah. and, and, and faith yeah. that is also expressed in this poem in particularly uh, which I remember but I don't I, I, I don't memorize uh, completely yeah um, and I was thinking about like when I was like taking my shower, like yeah. oh, that would be kind of good. Like if I can uh, memorize this poem and, and, and you know yeah. like Dude. do it for, yeah. for for your channel. And uh, and that's the thing, you know, like um, I, I want I, you know I want people to pick a poem that speaks to them. You know, because mm-hmm. um, if it doesn't speak to you, why why memorize it? You yeah, know? no, and and it's a, it's an I think it's in a sort of like a, a social exercise you know yeah, like yeah. where people memorize something because like I, I don't think people do that enough anymore and um, just making it yeah everything is so thing, easy yeah. And, yeah. and you know oh, you have yeah. it here you don't have to like uh, yeah yeah like, I just medium click and yeah. you and access to things and mm-hmm. stuff like that instead of like okay I remembered this mm-hmm. because I practice and I, I wanted that much so I, I yeah. like put this effort to memorize. Because my thing. theory, my my theory yeah. is, you know, memorizing somebody else's work is the only way we connect. Because um, to me, like your own memories define you. You are your memories, pure and simple. If you don't have any memories, you're not yourself. You're not anybody. Um, 
So you accumulate your memories throughout life and the, the practice of memorizing somebody else's work is sort of like this connection, you know, like that's, that's what I'm trying to do um, with that that's, project. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That, that, cool. I mean, no, yeah. cool. Cool. That's what I that's wanted mean. to say. Yeah, no, that's me. No, that's cool. Um, we're getting really philosophical mm. here. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm thinking about other, uh, and we, we can make, we can talk about this yeah. in other review if you want it. Um, yeah, about like, uh, so just think, just a little, a little tease on that. Mm -hmm. Uh, think about like um, uh, like tele teleport teleportation exists, mm -hmm. but for <laughs> be able to exist, you need to kill the one before to be recreated in a new thing. It's like yeah. it is still you, yeah, or not? Just because you're gonna have your whole memory set, <laughs> but it's not the same guy. It's not the you that you yeah. came in. It is another. Yeah. So just to, just to think about that, like, we're we're gonna like crazy. I don't know. I was have a big discussion with Brittany and my wife yeah. the other day with that a lot of uh well not discussion we really i was yeah uh, talking to her about it um yeah it's just yeah it's, yeah to think about it no i think you know a lot of philosophical ex exercises are just i don't know they're they're fun yeah i know they're fun to think about and yeah yeah um what 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 is fun about this beer this beer um, it's hard to say for me. Um, I think it's it's a fairly decent, you know, wheat beer. But well, vice uh, is it? What do you think? Vice beer. Vice beer. Yeah. Is wheat is wit is wheat is wheat wheat. wheat. Well, I mean, wheat in yeah. German. Vice beer. Vice. Vice. Yeah, I don't know. Like I, I, I just knew a few words for. Yeah. It's like funny. I like came a, a friend from from my brother from Austria. Like mm -hmm. she's actually not uh, German. Mm -hmm. she, uh, she taught me a few, a few pronunciation like the worst, like the most difficult word that you can learn from Austria is, Ochkastelwaf. That means the oh. tail of the squirrel. Okay. So like it becomes like the most difficult because you need to pronounce like all the different things. Like, yeah. I don't know even if it sounds literally the people who know mm -hmm. German will be laughing at me. <laughs> that, yeah, that, that that that's a word. So I don't know how this yeah. vice beer. I know that it sounds like yeah. B, but um, no, vice beer. Yeah. yeah. But no, I think um, it, it's not outstanding. It's not bad. Um, I mean, uh, to be sincere, I think it was a little bit. I was expecting more from from this, right? Like the, uh, I was like, oh, this yeah. this is fancy. This is not. It's not all the the, the beers. Uh, just this kind of um, can mm -hmm. opener uh, thing on their beers. So for me, it was a little bit disappointed with I, I was mm -hmm. drinking. It was. It's just okay. Yeah. And, and probably I will. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I will I will forget about it yeah no like the the sourness is um, just a lingering effect with this beer um, you know it I don't know I feel like I it'll it'll not really settle in well um, in a lot of occasions this the sourness yeastiness is just mm. not great yeah yeah I, I'm, I'm agree with you it is just oh. yeah I mean, it's not bad, but it's not, yeah. like, yeah. Not memorable. Me yeah. Mev mev okay, sorry. Memorable. <laughs> memorable, that thing. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, so that's the uh, Schnickelfritz, Schnickelfritz from Urban Chestnut coming out of St. Louis, Missouri.